So I am 20 something years, 20 something years of age and I still do not get the beef, the hatred South Africans have against Nigerians. Please, if you understand what has been going on aside the regular historical uh, antecedents, please come and tell me. Explain to me in the comment section like I am 2 years old what the beef south africans have against nigeria is all about because i still do not get what animosity the pain the tantra all about especially chidima because the past month this lady has been trending from kicking her out of south african pageantry um, because she's not an indigenous indigenous according to them to you know trolling her online planning her downfall i have never really done something like this on this channel because it's not as terrible but i was just I had just seen too much of uh, the trolling against her and I just had to do something, just to say something. Because if I don't talk, my chest will burst. Our uh, all South African beta is just a selected individual. Please help me explain. Let me understand, okay? I really, really, really need to state that South Africans, majority of South Africans are very toxic. This is not me trying to sound some sort of way. This is not something we don't do on this channel. On this channel, we talk about reactors and um, Nigerian community. But I just saw this and I was pained. I decided to just talk about it. I decided to do something different today because I was pained to the nerve. So yeah, Chilima's emergence as first runner up has been causing a lot of ruckus and opera amongst the South Africans online please tell me what this woman has done to you guys tell me what her mother has done has done to you guys tell me what her offense is you guys kicked her out of a uh, south african pageantry with no sensible reason without any cognitive you know reasons for doing so Fam, you guys need to take a chill pill. I saw this post on Insta blog and I was just really pained. I decided to just, you know, come talk about it. And um, a South African posted this. And the comment section really made me proud. I just wanted to come and analyze it. Just get you guys' opinion on this. I don't know why South Africans are so pained. And uh, this guy said this about uh, Chijima's emergence as first runner up. As long as it is not Chijima Adishina who won Miss um, Universe 2024, we could with a laughing emoji. Fam. Anyway, I don't want to roast the character who posted this, but the comments from David Uday, <laughs> this guy never disappoints. I mean, he's a Frankie Dogo. Uh -huh. Is he a dogo or a dogo? He's a Frank Edo and the Jamaica of Nigeria. <laughs> He's following Frank Edo and Jim Mike's, um, Jim Ike's footstep. He has never let us down. And he had this to say um, in reply to this idiot cap. Her package as first runner up includes $100,000 cash. A one year lease on a luxury apartment in New York, a three million um, dollar diamond encrusted crown, and connections and contacts to keep up kick off a successful career in modeling and showbiz. Your package as a guy will be as pink fuck. Okay, I have to read it. Sorry for the curse word. Your package as a guy will be as pink boxers on his Twitter display page is that you get to keep posting and i don't say that and um she's <laughs> you know all those kind of photos of jason derulo and uh, we will never notice that you exist why the only thing you accomplished your life is that the dash would <laughs> the that see straight bullet don't go with you mama this is why the states do not throw online because when you throw people at home people from your families you know get the bullet and his mother just had to I screen grab this so you guys can read it for yourself. <laughs> His mother just had to take a shot because she birthed a careless child who is definitely a bigot, a racist from all direction. If you got I did finish reading it, please. So I'll just keep it in the last uh, sentence. Chidima's life is far better than yours, obviously. 
Because Chidima is living a fulfilled life, doing her own thing. You will never find her online trolling and insulting. But here, this guy is here, you know, causing chaos. Unnecessary chaos. Very pathetic chaos online. I mean, so you're rejoicing that uh, she didn't emerge uh, the winner, but she emerged first runner-up. That's a very huge feat. If it is, it come run-up. I've been seeing a lot of content online um from south africans rejoicing that she didn't win but she's achieved far more than you guys can ever achieve in a very long run and this is something starting in nigerian south african war this topic i see content on it on youtube on tiktok on facebook and i just try to ignore it because that's not my style we have a target audience here but for this particular tweet i could not just ignore it so let's go to the comment section you're going to be thrilled, bro. You are going to be thrilled. So the first comment I say is, David, David, may all your prayers be answered for this uh, for that beautiful response, okay? This person is uh, for that beautiful response, okay? This person is, you know, trying to clap for David Hudei for the clap back at the idiot. And this one say uh, another Frank. I already said it. <laughs> Thank you, sir, for this defense. You finished in both home and abroad and away, obviously. I really stated that because see, you just brought insult to your mother. Your mother was just classified as a silly stead um actress, nobody below forty three or forty five knows or has ever watched on screen. South Africans are on TikTok live planning how to ruin Chichi live. Well, I see such content online and it's quite pathetic, very, very pathetic. And um, if I read this as his mom, I would disown him with his pink boxers. Because tell me as a man, why are you wearing pink boxers and posting it online and you have the nerves to throw? That means something is wrong somewhere because that's not a normal lifestyle. There's no recovery from this type of insult. Straight suicide. <laughs> hey, good. And then this one said, David cooked um, 10 bags of rice with lighter. I love it so much. I loved it too. That's why I had to do this because the toxicity they hate on Chidima from these South African folks, it's just unnecessary and it, it's getting too toxic. Is it all South Africans that are bitter or there are good ones amongst them? That is what I've been trying to, you know, understand. Is it that all South Africans are bitter or I don't know, what is all these chaos? All about I don't even understand what this war is all about first when Chijima's um fight is over you will be true to discover that another fight you know will emerge the South Africans will have another curse cause or reason to come out here and start a genocide <laughs> another fight another robot but anyway the comments here i'm quite thrilled i'm quite um you know i love it david you ask god for bands and he will give you R -R. <laughs> Ooh, bitter people can never go far in life you can attract you can't attract what you hate do you get like i'm yet to see one south african that is not bitter over unnecessary shade oh that's by the way this uh, the comments are more i saw them on insta blog i couldn't resist it so i had to come here and you know talk about it and okay before i dive right out of this video let's um talk about banigo banigo collected 170 i'll be 150k to do giveaway and to come that's where for you you know if you use your own money do giveaway <laughs> Can't you use your own money and do giveaway? Because I don't understand. And she also put up a post stating that uh, if you want to support the next giveaway, um, you should contact her or send her a message to that effect. Fam, this is you outrightly begging. The same thing you criticize others for or you used to criticize others for it. You're doing it. Maybe to a regular YouTuber who came out church, you know, to ask for money to do giveaway. If you cannot afford giveaway for your subscribers, just rest. Nobody is forcing you to do giveaway. People understand that economy is hard. And more so, nobody is even expecting anything from you. I understand that you're trying to make fun out of it. The last giveaway you gave, you did, courtesy of um, your subscribers and um, a few support here and there, you said you wanted to add just 10k. Yes, 10k. 
I don't even want to say just 10k because right now 10k is safe. <laughs> if you still land a good born you tire for Niger. You said you added 10k. I think I watched that part. Not like I watched from beginning to the end. I watched towards the ending where my attention was drawn to it, by the way. Not, be, not that I just woke up and watched your giveaway. I'm not interested in all of those shit. So yeah. You've been winning giveaway, winning giveaway, winning giveaway, and decided to give away. If you don't have the money to do giveaway, please rest. Yes, please rest. Don't come here and be inconveniencing people. You're begging with style. Begging with style. You want people to love you on top of other people's money. You want people to love you on top of that person's money. Make it make sense. The same things you people criticize. I have come to realize that people criticized it because um you wanted that kind of lifestyle you wanted that kind of attention you wanted that kind now youtube has only put out the kind of content they used to put out and you know stating that or doing unboxing or disclosing amounts that they receive and it's courtesy of you people and you still don't even understand the kind of damage you've caused on the street of youtube but you're slowly doing the same thing anyway it's good that you've liberated yourself also because you're you, you're free now to beg publicly in giving, in, by calling people to give, you're actually implying that you should be given to. It's good. Please beg with your full chest. You deserve it. It's not easy. That's it, by the way. So I just thought to come and share this. Bani go here. You know the money to give you a rest. Go and rest, okay? And uh, see you guys in my next video. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. This was a very quick one. I was angry at this post I saw and um, I just started to ramble. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.